Welcome back to Madison Square Garden, where Notre Dame leads the team that shares the number two spot in the coaches' poll. Connaughton gets the ball from the official, comes on into Grant. Grant driving top of the key. Now he's dribbling to his left, step back three. Yeah! Yeah! That last game, you know, against Ohio State, you know, it was. A couple minutes left, a couple seconds left, and you know, uh, my mind started wandering a little bit, and uh, you know, I think it really hurt me, you know, that you know this is going to be possibly my last game. 58-52, inbound pass to Jackson. They mug him. He loses the ball. Smith now drives into the lane, throws it off the glass and in. And suddenly, it's a four-point Irish lead. Grant now, he loses the ball. Off to Smith, and no, no basket. He's got a foul before the basket. Kraft drives the lane. Did he travel? No. Gets it inside the Smith. Lays it up and in. Ohio State back on top by one. Here comes Grant. Grant over the midcourt strike. Grant drives the lane and gets the ball. Knocked out of bounds off his body. Back to Ohio State. I don't know if I've ever handled a, had to handle a tougher locker room in my career where we were in position to win the game and we couldn't finish and it was really an excruciating loss there at the Garden. Then we also knew we were losing Jaron. Um, so your first thing was deal with the team and their psyche because we still had a whole ACC season to play after Christmas but yet deal with Jaron and you know we're going to support him and what's the transition and what's he going to do. I just remember being really quiet and not a lot of people were looking up. We we're just kind of looking around and I think it really finally hit us that day when we were sitting in Madison Square Garden like Jay is really going to leave and we're not going to see him again for four or five months. After the Ohio State game, you know, it was it was a tough loss, but uh, you know, the way the guys embraced me, the way coach talked to me, that was definitely huge for me just to know that, you know, they had my support, you know, even though they were going to go on without me, you know, they still wanted me back there and they still wanted me to be a part of the team even though I was gone. Well, everybody makes mistakes and, and I think that Jaron punished himself more than we could anyways. So he, he knew what he did was wrong and, and he had to bounce back from it. But the best part about it is we're a family. So the best part about that is being able to support our teammates and our brother. Well, you're concerned about the young man. I mean, uh, he had built up great momentum both academically and basketball wise here. Uh, obviously, he's a big part of our basketball team and it was going to affect our basketball team. But how's this going to affect him? Knowing that the ruling at the end of the day would be that he'd be away from us for a semester, would he return? and finish school. I was definitely angry, you know, especially to start, you know, I was angry at Notre Dame, you know, I was I was mad at, at everyone, you know, I was mad at the school. I was really upset, you know, um, I didn't really think about, you know, I was the one who made the mistake, you know, I kind of looked at it as Notre Dame takes things too seriously or uh, it's Notre Dame's fault. You know, after I realized that, you know, it, it helped for me to move on and, you know, kind of let it go and, you know, once I realized that, I think it, it became easier for me to, you know, uh, talk to the guys on the team and it kept, helped me make a decision that I wanted to come back, you know, because it wasn't Notre Dame's fault. I don't know, maybe in other situations around the country, kids don't return after something like this. But I think it's because we build really deep relationships here. I think I have great relationships with my guys and they know I care about them and they know our staff cares about them and Notre Dame cares about them. The decision to, to leave or come back, I think definitely had to do a lot with, you know, my personal decision to go back and uh, right some wrongs. Of course, you know, my teammates and, you know, Coach Bray, you know, I've built a great relationship with Coach Bray, you know, him coming from my area, you know, my high school. Having to leave him the way I had to, I had to leave it definitely wasn't something that I wanted to uh, leave with. I think it was really tough to, uh, to leave those guys like that. At the same time, you know, just me being who I am, I didn't want to, you know, leave a bad taste in, in my mouth with Notre Dame and with the fans and, you know, just the whole Notre Dame community. At the end of the day, it was going to affect our team, certainly, and it did. But at the end of the day, one of the reasons I love working here and coaching here and teaching here is, you know, there, there's a different mission here than, than a lot of other places to, you know, have these young people become young men. And, and develop him as a young man was to make sure he came back here to let him know that he's going to serve a heck of a penalty. I mean, it's a brutal penalty. It's also out there for everybody to hear about on a daily basis and every night we played. Uh, but after that, we want him back and it's going to be a great story. And we have his back and he's going to graduate from here and the mission's not done. As I used to text him those the first two months, you know, our work together is not done. 
That's how I would end my text with him, and he would always say, yes, sir, absolutely. Staying in contact with Coach Bray when I left definitely meant a lot to me, you know. Uh, with my mind, my mind wandering on, you know, should I go play in the NBA, should I, you know, take my, uh, you know, go play somewhere else, and then, uh, you know, having him text me or call me, you know, definitely kept me engaged with him and, you know, with the Notre Dame team, and, uh, you know, without him, you know, communicating the way he did, I really don't think I'd be here right now.